Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck, and today I'll be teaming up with YG Wigs to bring you this beautiful curly wig install. Now, this isn't any ordinary curly lace wig. She is a 4C edge jerry curl lace wig. This is a 13 by 6 install, and we are going to, of course, keep it beginner friendly. So if you're in for the tea and, you know, just a tutorial and all, keep on watching. So this is our beautiful girl here. As I mentioned, this is a 13 by 6 HD Swiss lace wig. The texture is jerry curl, and she is at 180% density, 20 inches in length, and this here is the star of the show these are the 4c natural hairline edges they provided you're gonna see how I turn it up and make them super nice here is a look at the inside construction of the cap of course they did include an adjustable elastic band and this is what that band looks like and I like the fact that they stamped their logo on it because you guys know I have a million wigs so this is how I know which wig I'm wearing so I'm gonna go ahead and install the wig and this is what she looks like on absolutely gorgeous I think that the 20 inches in length was a perfect length for this one because you already know curly hair shrinks. Here is a look at what the edges look like on before you do any customizations. And this is what the wig looks like from the back. So we're not going to waste any time. This is a straight out of the box install. So I'm going to start by just cutting off all of the excess lace around the ears. This is absolutely necessary. And if you choose to keep this on, the wig is just not going to fit. Your wig has to fit around the ear for it to just sit properly. This is what the parting looks like, and I love the fact that I get a full six inches of parting space. Here I am just cleaning it up and making sure that everything is where it needs to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and have a go. My first look at the edges. They kind of come like, um, you guys know when our hair natural textures like shrink up. So this kind of mimics that where it kind of like shrinks up, and you guys already know you got to detangle. So I went ahead and detangled them and pulled them out. They are too long for my head space or my head shape, but a lot some people have like a longer head, a wider head, a bigger head, and they would need all of that. So I'm going to trim it down to a length that is more realistic for my hairline. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull my natural edges back because it's almost time to install. Sometimes when you're cutting off the excess lace and your hair is like frayed and just out and natural and not slick down it's very easy to cut into your hair so i like to slick, slick mine down and it gives of course a clean install as well as again prevents me from accidentally cutting them now here i'm just going to go ahead and bond the wig down this is a glueless i would say a semi glueless install because we are going to be installing with the even product but it is a glueless product so i added the product and i added the uh, elastic band on top now, while that goes ahead and air dries, let's go ahead and work on the ends. I'm going in with the Nairobi mousse. I highly recommend you saturate the hair first. Ideal is to go ahead and shampoo and condition your wig before putting it on, and that will pull the curls out naturally. Also, having the hair wet or moist will prevent you from using too much product. I did on purpose use just mousse because I like this method personally, and I love this definitely or especially on like jerry curl textures. The texture of a jerry curly wig is similar to a regular curly wig but it is a little bit different and I do like having that option for variety so once I completely saturated it this is what it looked like when it's clumped with the dimming brush on this side we haven't done anything and then on the left side we have styled her so I'm going to make the other side match and just add my product again I'm very 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 generous with the product i'm working it in with my fingers and then i'm using the dimming brush to pretty much just like clump the curls to my desired look and this is my favorite method of all time here is a slow-mo or just a close-up of what the curls look like absolutely gorgeous i absolutely recommend this wig now that i went ahead and bonded the wig down i'm just use using a comb to comb the product out as i mentioned we did use a glueless adhesive and as it dries it will get into like that curly hair so you have to kind of like comb it to pull that product out once we've done that i'm just going to go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace being sure to cut the hairline to be, uh, how do you say, like custom to how I want it to be. Here I kept it very simple, but like if you have a low hairline or a widow's peak, you would cut your lace to kind of mimic your hairline and, um, you know, give a shape that is flattering to your forehead. Here I am patting the Nairobi mousse. I wanted the curls to naturally happen, so I didn't want to slick it down with edge control. Um, I didn't want to wet them. I just wanted to add something that will help them to naturally curl up. And then mousse was pretty much the best option. 
as I do this step I'm also going in with the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and what do we call this the dynamic duo so this is the dynamic duo that's the wax with the paired with the electric hot comb i'm going in and just generously adding that product although we have the mousse there and it's definitely like saturated i feel like it just doesn't look as clean and neat around the party without a little bit of heat paired with that wax it just does something for me that i just cannot explain and now that we're done with the install and the style let's set it off by tinting the lace i'm going to add the two faced concealer along the parting space and i'm definitely generous with this product i want to kind of pack it in as much as i can and then smush it in and blend it out with a clean towel that way it doesn't just sit on top and then i'm going to take a powder and this one here is uh i believe ruby kisses foundation and it is a shade darker than my complexion this uh, works out perfectly because when you use your own shade or at least for me it comes out too bright but when you go darker it definitely helps now that we're at the end of the road, I did decide to go in and custom tweeze out a few more pieces because I didn't want it to be like too thick. Honestly, it's up to you how you do yours. I definitely want it to be prominent, but I didn't want it to be too overpowering. And that's the beauty in wigs. You can do exactly as you please to get the look that you like. Absolutely love the way this one came out. And of course, you guys know they hooked your girl up with some goodies. Inside were... Um, this little dust bag and inside these were all of the items we received including the wig cap the comb the brush the melt belt all of the above even the clips and then this here is one of those pieces that you can put in to mimic a fake scalp and this is the look she's absolutely gorgeous the hairline complements the rest of the hair so amazing and of course you know they gave us a discount you can use ashley 20 at checkout and you'll get a uh, discount off I'm so happy that you stayed this far in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.